So me and the man were sitting around. We're watching uh, the local news in our own chambers on a nice, bright Sony television. Very clear picture. And there's a, there's the newscasters discussing a Chick-fil-A uh, firestorm uh, between the Chick-fil-A and the black community uh, over a tweet from their social media, whatever you would say, uh, their, uh, their social media, whatever you call, their tweet guy who would tweet out. Supposedly, he used a tweet in which he says, your community will be the first to know if we make spicy chicken nuggets, Don. And... I I didn't really understand, you know, what he meant by your community. I wasn't even really trying to nitpick it. I didn't even really care. I wasn't paying that close of attention. But the man, he started to say, he looks at me and says, hey, you know, what do you mean your community? You know, obviously, what he means is the black community. And I said, well, I don't know. How would you be able to tell from the guy's original tweet? He says, uh, Don, uh, uh, Don tweets, Grilled spicy deluxe, but still no spicy nuggets. So how would you think that made him a black guy? I, as a dog, I was wondering. But the man, he's like, well, I, you know, I don't know how you figured it out. But when the other guy tweeted back his response to Don, and he said your community, obviously, was pointing to Don's race. Which I don't even know why you would do that. Because basically, I said, hey, 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 man. I said, don't, don't, don't go there. Uh, no, I wasn't going to say this. It's just like, you know, why would you want to alienate the black community if you're... No, no, no. Listen here now. I'm just the idiotic, stupid dog. But I think what you're about to do is engage in a very, whatever you call it, gross or a very big old generalization. I don't even know what you would call it. Where you're, you know, you're lumping, you know, you're saying it's a, whatever you call those old kind of things where it's like an insidious, it's an insidious thing you're saying. It's that the people are so predictable that you're, that you could be, it's almost a racist or whatever you would say. So don't, don't even, hey dog, I'm not trying to say nothing racist. I'm just saying, me, if I own a Chick-fil-A, I'm not going to try to alienate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just listen to me, man. You should just let this one drop. You are about to just infer a generalization that was typically a stereotype from older, more heinously racist days. Today we have a mild racism. Back then they had a very violent and deadly racism. And you're hearkening back to those old days. I don't think so, dog. I'm just saying, you know, if I owned a chicken shack, I wouldn't want to alienate, you know, the, uh, excuse me. I'm going to end this conversation right now. Because the thing you're wanting to point out is something that's universal. We all love chicken. We all love chicken.